Welcome back. We have finished Selenitic and only have um, channel wood left. But uh, in between my last few recordings, um, there's been an update for the game. And one of the things they added, I'm so happy about this, is the original video. This is so much better. Yeah, I know it's upscaled and it's very obviously been upscaled, but it doesn't really matter. You must visit the one remaining you have not We've listened to this though. The only downside is that there are no subtitles uh, for the original audio yet. I think they will add those, but for now you're gonna have to do without. I don't think that applies to Atrus at the end because you know obviously you're seeing him for real, so Putting a video in there would be kind of weird. But at least Ceres and Akinar uh, no longer look terrible. And I am now wondering if they did this for the for the video in the, the viewer as well. I'm going to have to check that. First, though, let's take a quick look at the Channelwood book, which is this one. It's probably one of the more uh, involved stories dealing with the people on Channelwood, the tree dwellers and the one apparent human, which never really been explained where he came from or how he fits into the lore. Again, a pretty clear indication of that. Uh... Yeah, I think we looked at this one in the beginning. There's not really any hints in here other than the map, which uh, is only somewhat helpful. The uh, map that I used to create my um, to create the map that showed where I was. Well, I still said that you can't. Okay, that'll have to do. <laughs> you can't put those back. Um, the map that showed where I was while while I was playing to help you follow along. Um, it was the map from, came from the hint book, which uh, was a lot better. Perhaps not surprising. That map. Um, that was pretty interesting because I had to like I took it from I think I took it from a PDF copy of the hint book and then I had to invert it clean it up a little bit because it was black on white and in the video I had it white on black um, a couple of other patch changes then I had to make like 130 images or so with like the arrows <laughs> and then match them frame perfectly to my movement that video took me so long it's insane. Um, I'm going down here because I, there's another patch change. Um, the lights turn on the way they used to in Mist. It's a small thing, but it's very nice. <laughs> To have that back with the sound as well. And we're heading back up. Um, and I really do want to check if the video, if the if the uh, four chamber message has its video changed so let's quickly go over there Um, it should still be set to 8, I think. Let's give it a try. Oh, what am I doing? Catherine, my love. I have to live quickly. Something terrible has happened. 
Yep, that is also the original video. Again, without subtitles, even though the subtitle bar still shows up for some reason. Good thing I didn't delete that then. But it's good to see that that's also been restored. Subtitles are... It's, uh, there. Subtitles are um, coming later, I believe. I really looked at the back of the ship because I haven't been here. It's not very interesting. Can't really see the rudder under the water or anything like that. Um, all right. Let's do what we're actually supposed to do, which is channelward. Uh, which means we need to go in here, of course. Um, actually, I'm completely forgetting we need the code. We need to go into the tower first. Um, we need to rotate it, of course. To point at the tree. There we go. I've decided to stick with the, the Vive microphone, even though the quality is obviously much worse, but I still prefer it over the echoing of the other microphone, and I just like having the freedom of not having to worry about hitting it when it's in front of me. But the more I do this, the more I am convinced that I will most likely not be playing firmly that way when it eventually comes out. I'll probably just record that screen mode because it's going to be a better, more comfortable experience for you and easier to do for me. Um, apparently, the ladder is now right in front of us. Come on. All right, I'm high enough. And there's the big tree. We knew that. And like I said, I'll probably do uh, a video showing off screen mode with uh, DirectX 12 and ray tracing support. Although I obviously won't be going through the entire game like that. 515. I be able to remember that, but let's take a picture of that anyway. And if you are one of the people who did not enjoy, um, watching VR mode, then I do apologize. I know it can be annoying to have to deal with my head movements, and apparently I lean my head to the right a lot, I've discovered, <laughs> while watching the, um, the videos of this. I did not know that about myself. Which, for me, is, pro is not a problem, because, you know, if I'm like this, my head, my brain just corrects that. It still looks straight to me. But on the video, it's very obvious. So I'm trying not to do that now. Um, no, I need that painting. Although I probably still will. On occasion, I also try to not move my head too much. But that is really impossible to tell how much you move your head. And of course, I do want to look around. Um... Um, that is not what I did. 
teleported through the marker switch and inside. Okay, and now... It's kind of weird that this is a sliding door. I guess that's also to make it easier to use in VR. Felt like my height was a bit high there. Um, but it is possible to make functional regular doors in VR. I mean, Half-Life Alex did it. But I do guess this is easier to use. All right. Um, 515. Unless I am terribly mistaken. Nope. Oh. Okay. That hit me in the face. And it's not a matchbook. It's an ignition switch. Well, I guess that's nice, because otherwise I would have had to bend down over there. Which, considering that I'm sitting down, I'm not even sure if I can get that low, because the... I'll show you. Let's ignite, anyway. There we go. Turn on the pilot light. And I'm having tracking issues. Why does that sometimes happen? It's very annoying, very disorienting too. Just gotta adjust my headset a little, because my wife's been using it, and um, unlike me, she doesn't have a giant head. I do. I'm not exaggerating. I own a single hat, because normally I can't find hats that fit me, and that hat is triple XL. Um, see, like, if I go all the way down, this is the floor. So, yeah, I would not have been able to actually reach the... I don't know how easily you can see that, but um, I can't really get any closer than that. But, yeah, I'm, like, well... I'm, like, all, just a little bit above of below this edge. So, yeah, sit, in sitting down position, you would not have been able to reach the pilot light with the... Uh, uh, with the match... So the ignition switch, I guess, is a is a solution there. All right, let's see how uh, this is going to work. We can see the flame over there. Oh, that's all the way up now. I want to see this move. All right, now it's very tall. Ah, uh, I missed it. I wanted to go in and going up. I still want to go in and going up though, because I want to have that view from up there. But yeah, now we have a very, very, very tall tree. <laughs> it's not a super high view, but still, I still want to see it. The only thing, I don't remember what this looked like in, in Real Mist, to be honest, but um, compared to the original this movement didn't really seem to have any weight, and you'd think, like, you know, this big of a tree would be very heavy, take a lot of force to move up. And I didn't really get that impression from the way that looked. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna go down yet, because I want to... I want to get in there going up. You have to hurry quite a lot to get there on time. On the way down.
because every time it lowers, it increases the pressure of the whole system. You have to close that door. Yay, now we're going up. And it's an achievement, of course it is. <laughs> Top of the world. Um, it's kind of too bad that we can't really, you don't want me to, I mean, I guess they don't want to walk out of here, which makes sense, because I would just be hanging in the sky, but I just want to lean over. It's not like the game knows where my feet are, so it doesn't know that I'm just leaning over. Here, look, I'm holding this, so I should be able to do that, all right? No. The game is not that smart. It's too bad we can't look the other way. This view would be more interesting if we could see the library. Can we write this all the way down? I know in the original you can't. And yeah, no, you can't here either. All right, so let's get this going all the way up. Back up a little. And let's turn the gas off. And then we have to hurry. Good. I was still close enough that the door didn't shut. Okay, that really gives you no time. Maybe I should not close it all the way, maybe it won't be as fast. Alright, all the way open. I gotta wait for it to go up all the way. Fortunately, I can hear and see whether or not it is up all the way. All right, so if I only turn this down a little, not moving down. There, now we're seeing the pressure drop, so... There, that gives me way more time. One could argue too much time. <laughs> oh well, I'm not do going back and doing that again. I turned myself around. Want to sit facing this way. Even though it does not matter for microphone purposes, it's still better for the cord. All right, now we slowly descend. I think I could have turned it maybe another half turn. Why does it feel like the light, whatever, wherever the light in sight this place is coming from, is not actually illuminating the wall? That's very weird. <laughs> Come on. We can get there. Ah, there we go. We're almost there. And 
and there we are. This looks more elaborate. Mini channel wood underneath mist. It's kind of uh, nice. Going the long way around just because it can. There is the uh, channel wood linking book with the windmill on the front. The flybys are not original, even with the original video mode turned on, which I guess makes sense. Because obviously, they would look different than the actual age if they did that. Alright, let's go. And Channelwood. Nice. This is another age where the sense of scale you get from uh, VR really pays off. Because you can really tell how big these trees are. Or, well, I can. You cannot. Um, that's the third level, isn't it? Or is it? No. I think that's the second level. Yeah, that is the second level. Where is the third level? Kind of hard to tell. I think that building over there is one of the brothers' rooms on the third level. Um, well, we all know how to uh, solve this age. Well, the paths are wide enough that it's not really difficult to teleport on them, so that's good. And I was wondering how they were going to do this. They gave me a lever. That's good, because yeah, like I just demonstrated with the, the match, I would not have been able to bend down far enough to touch that from my sitting position. And now we can. This will make it a lot easier to see where the water is going and needs to go. I'm just really trying to see if I can see that third level. So far I can't really. Um, it's not like I exactly remember where to go in this age. I know we have to extend the bridge. We may have to do that from the other side, actually. And uh, activate some elevators, obviously. Let's first go turn the water on. Let's actually kind of want to look what's over here. Oh. That, what the touchiness of pressing forward catching me out again so this is just a dead end is it pumping water in through here or is this just a drain I guess this is just a drain because the water is coming from the windmill from what I remember I mean, Real Mist obviously already made it a lot easier to navigate here, but being able to, you know, see it in 3D and look around in a much more natural fashion 
makes that even easier. Over here we have the spiral staircase. It'll be an interesting one to teleport down, I'm sure. Well, it doesn't look like it'll be too bad. Where's the lock for this? Oh, it's, it's over there. Yeah, I was wondering, like, would you be able to um, to reach around? You would not, and realistically, your hand, your arm wouldn't really fit very far through this either. I'm assuming the game isn't going to just let me do that, and I'm not even going to try. Because why would I? Don't want to cheat. There's our windmill. I like how they used one of these in abduction for the gas uh, pipes. They're pretty funny. Oh, it's a frog. Low frog. I scared him off. Related to the Itrim frog? I sincerely doubt it. Big windmill, also noisy. And we have the water pumps over here. And uh, We're just hearing the thing drain. You can't stop it permanently. If I don't hold that, it's... it turns back on. We do want to do a course. Um, is open that. And um, now we can hear the water going through the pipe. Much more loudly than I would have expected to be able to hear it, but sure, let's go with that. Um, I want to try I the bridge first, do I? I don't know if that's actually accurate or not. Um, I definitely don't want the water going right, because, yeah, if you remember, this shows the where the blocking is, so that pipe is blocked, meaning the water is going that way. And we don't need that yet. Wait. Um, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> so much for just being easier to navigate. I immediately did the wrong thing. Um, how do we get it to the bridge? And is that actually what we want to do? That's what I would like to check right now. Yeah, that is what we want to do, isn't it?
All right, so let's move that over. I guess the levers also show you what way the water is going at this setup. That's already correct. a bridge. Which takes us over here. Oh, another frog. Where'd you go? Oh. Um, yeah, we need to get water over here. This is what leads to the linking book, isn't it? I believe so. Again, this is so much nicer to be able to see it this way. You can see the counterweight up there. And yeah, this is isolated from everything else. I'm pretty sure this is the linking book. We will not meet that yet. Um, we will have to go here, though. And uh, no... Extend that pipe so we can get power there when we need it or water I'm calling it power because that's effectively what it does but for now that is not yet what we want to do I guess I could have left that till the end, but like I said, I don't remember the layout of this age that well. So this is just entirely useless, I guess. And here we now want to shift the power to, oh, it's uh, to the right, it already is. We need to actually shift this one. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me, or actually please don't, because if you ignore me, why watch this video? Um, Alright, so that's already going right here, so that gives us the ability to use this elevator. I should really be able to see, yeah, that's that's the upper level. And it's above the, above the spiral staircase there. These are some really tall trees. I mean, Redwoods ain't got nothing on these. Uh, yep, more sliding doors, I guess. Well, at least it's not hitting me in the, in the face that way, so I appreciate that. Of course. Should have known. Can see through the gaps. So, this is where the uh, confusing part started in the original game, because you're, yeah, you're on this triangular platform, but if you don't have a map, there's the upper level. Um, that's this, that's Cirrus' room, I'm guessing? Or is that Akinar's, and then Cirrus is the other way? I don't remember. But we're supposed to go over there. And to do that, we have to unlock the staircase from over there. 
which you can see because of the rope, it's all much easier to figure out. Especially because I can go here, behind the original uh, elevator, which of course you could not do in the original mists. I suppose you could in real mist. And the real big problem with this is just there were not enough intermediate pictures in mist, and I, I know they had to fit it on in a single CD, so that's why. I get it. But just the ability to stand in the middle of a bridge and, you know, look around and orient yourself is so helpful. Which the original did not allow. I, uh... Let's just say I'm happy this is not real. I'm not afraid of heights or anything, but, uh... And I've played more than enough VR to not be afraid of VR heights. If you, when you, once you start out playing VR, it's very easy to trick yourself into thinking like, this is real? Your brain wants to think like, this is actually precarious? I think sitting down actually also makes it feel less scary. But uh, yeah, normally it's, it's very easy. Like you have a real sense of how high up this is and how far it is to fall. And there are some, like, gimmick games that are based around that. Like, there's a game where you just walk out on a plank over a big height. Uh, falling in VR is pretty freaky. That can be very motion sickness-inducing because, um, obviously, you're not actually moving. But, yeah, uh, I no longer have any problem looking down at great heights in VR, even though I can tell how high it is. Um, that's a dead end. A real concern if I were here, here in real life would be how strong are these rope bridges. I mean, it, the wood looks in pretty good condition, but considering this age has been abandoned for a while now, I would be afraid of, uh, rot or anything both in the wood and the ropes other than that we are still in an endless ocean I'm guessing that you know since the original plan for the game before the concept of link of uh, linking books was invented was for you to travel to these places from Mist Island, using like the ship for Stone Ship and the spaceship for Selenitic. Um, I'm guessing that you know this would have been the same ocean, which now is no longer the case. But I think in the journal this says that this was an island and it sank. Um. All right, nothing much to see from over here, though. Except the third level we can see up there again. Which, again, the existence of which is much easier to uh, determine in both uh, Real Mist and this, because you can actually look up. All right, let's move on. There's a linking book. Because in the original you couldn't really look up anywhere. There were a few v views where you could get glimpses of the upper level, but it was never really uh, a thing. I think we need to go this way first to... Uh, like from here you probably could see something of that. But it's obviously much easier to see in a real-time 3D environment, and even much easier to get a feel of the layout in VR. And there's our starting point, where we can very clearly see now that the counterweight is down at the bottom when the elevator is up. Which makes sense. Uh, 
And here, this um, is attached to the door over there, I guess. All right, I can just do that, I suppose. That works. Um, and now it's open. Oh yeah, I need to go back and then turn right. Go the long way around. This is kind of an interesting age in the context of the game because it's the only age where... This looks precarious. Uh, it's the only age where it's very easy... I mean, it's relatively easy to get to the linking book back without getting the pages. I, mean, I guess in Stone Ship you could too, but you'd still have to go down those passages and find the secret hallway to do it. In Selenitic, it's pretty much impossible to... Uh, um, Does this go anywhere? Yes, no, that's where, yeah, that's where it came from. This is actually the only way I can go. Never mind. Because I'm talking and moving. Like, uh, I guess in, you still have to go down those stairs, so it's kind of, uh, to find the secret passage, so it's kind of unlikely that you wouldn't have visited the brothers' rooms before finding the book. Uh, in, in Selenitic, it's um, pretty much impossible to not have encountered the pages. There's nothing here, is there? No. Nope. Um, to not have encountered the pages before you find the book, because there isn't really any puzzle behind finding the pages there. And in mechanical, I mean, you have to find the secret passages, but neither of them are very hard to find. Certainly much easier than what you have to do to find the book. Whereas here, there's two very distinct puzzles. Like, there's the pipe and the bridge on the lower level that gets you to the book, and then you have to do everything on the upper levels to get to the pages. So it's very easy to get to the book and have not yet visited the, the brothers' rooms. Can I pick these balls up? Um, help. I'm too close to the wall. I cannot. Um, and now I lost my orientation. I think I came from there. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Um, I guess I went the long way around. Could have just turned right here. Oh well, probably would have wanted to show you it anyway. That's where we just were, to turn the... have to open the door. Now you can really easily see that third level. It's very tough to see from the ground still. I guess because of where it is, there's not really any uh, walkways below this area. Most of the third level is behind the part with the walkways. But from here, it is pretty easy to, uh, to see. convoluted setup to open a door. I wonder if this is something the brothers did or asked Atris to do to make it 
harder for people to get to their rooms. So I think this was one of the first places where Atrus left his sons alone, probably thinking that the people in um, Channelwood would keep an eye on them. I still don't want to fall here. Well, I think that backfired. Obviously. Especially for the people of Channelwood. This is definitely less pre precarious than it seems in Mist. I don't remember how bad it seems in real mist. But in uh, here I can easily tell this is pretty wide. Again, like you, the scale is just much more uh, easily conveyed in VR. So I probably would not actually be afraid to walk down this, although I'd probably still stay on the side of the tree just, just to be safe. Again, I'd be more worried about the integrity of everything than the uh, possibility of falling off the edge. Alright, now we need to get water over here. Um, okay. <laughs> My hand just decided to uh, go on a little trip there. And then we get to go back up the spiral staircase. Isn't that exciting? No, it's not. Nice view of the windmill from here, though. Can I please teleport, sir? Thank you. Left hand seems to be easier going up. Fortunately, we only have to go back down here again, not back up another time. All right, so now this um, elevator should work. Gotta close the door, of course. And there we go, up to level three. And now we're in the treetops. Yeah, okay, this is pretty high. Um, from here, some kind of animal. It sound like insects, like some cricket analog or something. I think is what that's supposed to sound like. I wouldn't try diving from here, that's for sure. So I have no idea how deep that water is, so... Terrible idea in either case. Um, this is Akinar's side, I think. Yes. Akinar's torture chamber. Where thankfully we also get the original um, video now. It's so much better. Mm -hmm. 
interesting candle holder. Looks like a propeller. Isn't this like... Um, is that a subtitle box that's just hanging out there? Yes, yes it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. This moved. When you get close to it, apparently. That's, uh, fairly terrifying. <laughs> and Ankenar's room is behind here. Interesting. It's a double sliding door. And the blue page. I will take that. Um, manacles. Nice. No, wait, the opposite of that. This is what I like in my room that's really high up, just a, a hole in the wall. Um. see pretty far. Too bad there's nothing to see. I think the other half of the marker switch node is in the, is in Cirrus's room. I'm not wondering what the subtitles would be for this on the new versions. Um, I don't think you can switch it while playing without having to reload, so I'm not gonna try. Yeah, this definitely isn't any less weird in uh, in this version. And one of these, I think it's the second one, has the Rush Limbo understands backwards <laughs> Easter egg. It's still kind of funny. the right button. Very interesting device, dear brother. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> he is there. Remember, take only one page. And a little more insight into what the brothers are doing. Take only one page, of course, talking about the page from the Mist book. That Atris took with him to Dunny, which is how he got trapped in Kavir. Oh, that's actually a place I'm really looking forward to seeing in, in VR. That's gonna be cool. Um, we don't have to go back through the torture chamber, I guess. Because now we can open the fence. I mean, realistically, you could have already done that. What's what's stopping you from doing that from this side? Magic is, I guess. Um, all right, let's check Cirrus's side and collect a red page. It's very easy to. Even in this version, I, it's very easy to miss the fact that you can go that way until you come back. Once you come back, it's very easy to see. 
I do not want me to stand over on these beams there. Um, I definitely would not do that in real life, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, when you come back, it's very obvious that there is something else here. So when you come out of the elevator, you're like, oh, it can go that way. And then you do, and you don't even notice that there's a way behind you. Still less nefarious than hiding passages behind doors <laughs> the way Riven did, I guess. And um, now we get to the nice room. Like, I'm okay with Ankenar not needing to have, like, an opulent room the way Cyrus did, but uh, I would at least have an intact floor. <laughs> I agree with Cyrus on that. Um, so otherwise, every time you drop your keys, they're like lost in the water. Is this supposed to be cheese? Looks more like a block of marble, honestly. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be cheese. Either way, I'm not trying to eat that. At least stuff doesn't disappear here. Oh. No. Slice of cheese. Can I get the knife? I can. Can I cut the cheese? No, I cannot. Wow, that bottle... That's a pretty big gap at the bottom there. Like, you're, you think you're getting a lot of wine, but it's like all the way up to here. <laughs> Alright. Red page. Anything in this drawer? Um, there is. More wine. And I want a cookie. Cannot get a cookie. I'm very disappointed. Zero out of ten IGN cannot eat cookies. Fine. Keep your cookies. Now I want both cheese and cookies. Thanks, game. Um, couldn't you, like, actually turn on water here in the original? I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Looks like this would be the faucet, but... That's the stopper. Is that a, oh, that's a toothbrush! Oh my god. We found Cirrus' toothbrush, people. That's amazing. This is the faucet, I just don't know how to turn it on. I guess maybe you need to just put a bottle of water or something up there. Because I don't think there's pipes coming up here. Plus, the water pressure up here would be terrible anyway. Or no, I think this is just a holder. He doesn't have running water by the looks of it. Is there anything in that? No, it's a... Oh, it's a cup! It's a cup! People, we've solved the mystery. It's a toothbrush and a cup. This is the most exciting thing I've found so far in this age. And <laughs> I'm not even joking. I don't remember that being there in the original. Don't know about real mist. In the original, I don't remember seeing that. Or if I did, I d didn't realize what it was. But now I can get a nice close-up look in VR, and suddenly it's clear as day. It's a toothbrush and a cup. Alright, Vault Access. Very plain view on Mist, and access can be hilly if the simple followed. First, locate switches on the island. Of these switches to the. Go to the wood hut and turn the marker switch to the off position. Ah, <laughs> it's very. Okay, my, ha my other hand's in the way because of how I'm holding this. But that wood hut part is diff is not the same font. That's how they randomized this. They randomized which switch you have to turn off. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Th I really didn't think they were going to randomize that, but they did. Alright, so the hot one is what we need to turn off. Before it would have been the dock. It's 
look around here a little bit more first. Get more. Wonder if these are inks or yeah, I guess they are inks because there's a there's a quill in one of them. Hello. How many? How much? Many of my audience have not learned how to write cursive. I don't know. Um, I cannot get the purple bottle. Probably for the best because it does not seem to have a uh, stopper. Can I do anything with this? Move it or something? No. We cannot. Looks like you ought to be able to spin these, but. No such luck in game. Somebody had a tantrum. Smash some chairs. And um, our bottle of wine and a fancy dagger, like an Arabic dagger almost. Oh no, I stabbed myself. Nothing else in that drawer. I'm like hitting my chair here. I'm a little bit too close to that to be able to comfortably open the, that. But, um, yeah, we got the page, we got the, uh, the note, we got the toothbrush, so I think we're done here. I'm, like, unnaturally excited about the toothbrush, it's like the biggest touch of realism in this game. I'm weird like that, okay? You probably know that by now about me, if you've been watching my videos, that I'm kind of weird sometimes. Um, no, closed. And so we leave the last age of mist behind. Except for Rhyme, of course, which uh, will be added at a later date. And once um, that does get added in a patch, as they promised, I will show it off. Uh, whether or not I'll show it off in VR or normally depends on the reaction to these videos, I guess. I will still play it in VR, because even if watching maybe is not, playing VR is awesome. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you have the opportunity to get this game and you have a VR headset of any kind, I would strongly recommend doing so. Um, well, we still need to go get the mist book. I thought for a second there was an animal on top of that, but it's, I think it's just the top of the log. Um, and I guess we'll do that in the next video.